Hello everyone, for this video I'm going to give you a tour of Homeward Suite by Hilton Orlando on International Drive nearest the convention centre. Warm welcome to this vlog, just about to enter the Homeward Suite which is located right in the heart of International Drive, incredible location for nearby restaurants. Homeward Suite is a good option for anyone looking for something sort of in between staying at a villa and staying in a hotel closer to the action. Very compact lobby area, but probably proportionate to the size of the hotel. That's the breakfast buffet area down there. So Hilton does provide a complimentary breakfast for every guest. I'm pretty sure it's every booking that it, that applies to. I'm gonna try my best to show you everything in here. Sliced bread, bagels, scrambled eggs, sliced ham hash browns they don't look like they've been dried out properly to me orange juice, apple juice four different cereal varieties got a nice big microwave got three different coffee varieties so decaf strong coffee regular coffee also got some coffee syrups as well We've got a selection of fresh fruit there next to the whipped cream and sauces for the waffles. Then over here we have some mini muffins, got some oatmeal, and here are the waffle irons, which are the most popular part of the breakfast buffet. I am going to have to limit myself to just an apple at the buffet because. I do need to eat at quite a few restaurants today for my I Drive restaurants video on my other channel. Just seen a guy at the coffee station put five shots of syrup in his coffee. Fair dues. So I'll just come out of here now and show you the uh, mini convenience store that they have at this hotel. No real surprises really, just got your usual snacks pharmacy bits and bobs got some frozen food that you can cook back at your rooms all outrageously priced no doubt so I'll give you a tour around the outside of Homewood Suite it's a bit of a strange layout so it's sort of a square block um, <clears throat> excuse me but there's like a hole in the middle for the pool area and then the hallways for all the suites will sort of surround the central pool courtyard so we are facing south of International Drive and on the other side of this big field is Point Orlando you can just see the parking garage you can also sort of make, make out the Regal Cinemas and the Hyatt Regency this is where my room is, but I'm not exactly sure which. It's on the second floor. So over in that direction is International Drive. That turquoisey building is the Bahama Breeze. So we're now back at the front entrance of the Homewood Suites, and we're now facing north of International Drive. Weather is looking pretty decent for the rest of the day, which makes a change. Got a couple of desktop computers and a printer for any of you business time people. So here's a little mini tip for this hotel. So I wouldn't get the elevator uh, on the side where the lobby is. I would go around the back to the side of the hotel that is facing Point Orlando and I would get in there just because naturally it'll be a bit should be a bit quieter. For me though I'm only on the first floor so I'm just gonna walk it. Alright so this is the uh, one bedroom suite. We've got a pull-out bed here and above that we have quite an interesting looking painting. I'm not really sure 
what's going on there. Um, so yeah, we'll try out the pull-out bed shortly. We've got a kitchen table with a nice bucket on top. Another painting there with what I think are different names of different communities in Florida. And then we've got a kitchen area, a gigantic fridge freezer. Let's have a look inside. Wow. Plenty of space there. Got an uh, also ginormous microwave. Seems a bit overkill that, but hey. Then we got a toaster. Dishes, glasses, coffee machine, dishwasher. We got some utensils in here. Table. It's got a lamp on it with a plug socket. Is that internet? Oh no, that'll be the uh, for the phone. This is the window. This is the view that I've got. We got a TV on top of the drawers. Into the bedroom, which has two queen beds, cool looking headboards, We've got another bedroom TV on top of this uh, combined drawers and sort of desk with an office chair, got more plug sockets on this lamp, another painting. Moving on to the bathroom area, a pretty large vanity, got moisturiser, conditioner, shampoo, very tall mirror with light built into it which I hear is very useful to have, not that I have much use for it. A toilet. Bathtub inside here. It's the rainfall style shower head. Let's see if I can get this out. Not bad. isn't any storage space underneath. Ow. We've got a mirrored sliding wardrobe door, Some hangers, iron, ironing board, We've got a safe down there, and yep, hair dryer, more space up there. We've got a lamp, phone, and alarm clock on the nightstand. No USB ports though, unfortunately. That's enough of the room tour. Let's see what else the hotel's got to offer. Here's some more Icon Park. Quick look at the laundry facilities. Let's have a look at the fitness center.
exits are facing towards the lobby and the dining area. So we've just arrived at the courtyard pool area with our back to the breakfast buffet. It's obviously pretty quiet at this time of year and day. It's in good condition, but I do think if you were to find a reason not to stay here, it might be because of the fairly underwhelming pool area. Obviously, won't get a great amount of sun due to the layout. Yeah, so if you um, if you really appreciate a big, impressive pool area with slides or things like that, then um, you might prefer something like the suites over at Cabana Bay. So if you do turn right when you come out from the dining area, then you'll come to this little barbecue nook area where guests can use the communal barbecue. Nice little feature. Here's a closer look at Point Orlando at night across the field. So as I think I've mentioned previously in the vlog, this is a good location on International Drive as it's close enough to walk onto, but also sufficiently tucked away from all of the madness of International Drive that you can get at the weekends. So what I think I'll do now is I will show you the walk over from the hotel to the nearest restaurant which is Bahama Breeze where I'll be eating. Yeah, you shouldn't feel guilty for picking the first restaurant you see on International Drive. This is one of the best in my opinion. Food wise there will be better restaurants on iDrive but in terms of the atmosphere this one is really hard to beat. So it's now time to leave the Homewood Suites by Hilton Orlando. I need to head off to SeaWorld later. I've enjoyed my stay, was impressed with the resort, well kept, great location with the restaurants nearby, there's also a Walgreens up the road. Kind of easy to see why this resort gets so much loyalty from its fans. That's it for this video, thank you for watching. I hope this tour can help you in planning your next trip to Orlando. Do check out my other hotel tours on the channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when future videos are posted.